You guys, is this for real? Are festivals actually coming back? I am so stoked right now. Like I don't wanna get my heart and my hopes up, but we're seeing all these lineups drop. So I wanted to create this video for you guys and talk about items that I find are absolute essentials for me that maybe you might not know about. So let's kick it off strong. I'm gonna start with the Travel John, which I'm going to show you. Some people might think it's a little grimy, but if you're a festival goer, I know that you've done some grime things before. So I think you'd be down for this. I get a big pack. It's like an 18 pack here that I have. And what it is, is it is exactly what you think it is. It's made for, sorry, that was really loud. It's made for peeing, throwing up and poop. I have only had to use it for pee. Hope I don't ever have to use it for the other ones, but basically what it does is you can pee in it and it absorbs it like a gel and it makes your urine odorless and hard and it's also good for the environment. You could throw these out and dispose of them in the garbage. So if you are basically, if you can't hold your bladder at night, if you are far from the porta potties and especially if you're a female, I find these extremely helpful. Uh, most guys can just go wherever, but even at a camping music festival, you don't really want to be peeing around your campsite. So I find these extremely helpful in the middle of the night when I don't want to get out of my clothes or, you know, or get my clothes on or, you know, whatever it may be. These are awesome. It comes like this and it's pretty compact. And what you do is you unroll it like this, it has the gel already in there. You don't need to do anything. It has like this little cup that's really useful for females and you just pee in it. And then you basically just stand it up and you let it dry. So I usually just stand it up in my tent and then it dries and then I just chuck it the next day. So number one. Headlamp, some of the pro festival goers might know this already, but I still know some festival goers that still don't have these and I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, basically you want one of these because you don't always have control over when you end up at a festival. There's been many times where I have showed up to an event or a festival in pitch black dark. I have to set up my camp. You wanna be hands-free. It's also very useful for the porta potties inside the festival, especially at night. It's useful for walking through crowds at night so that you can see where you're going without blinding anyone. Some of them have some like light blue or red ambiance settings. I always film these types of videos when the battery's dead. Whoops, but yeah, I mean, this is an absolute must for me. Invest in it. I've had this one for probably the last 10 years and it was $20. All right, I have talked about this product before and this is like a absolute must. Stop sneaking in full length mirrors that cause damage, that break, that cause a hazard at your campsite, that cause a hazard for the cleaning crew and invest in a magic mirror. If you've never heard of a magic mirror, it is a UK product. It basically is a packable lightweight mirror that can be used three ways. There's full length, okay, which is hard to see here, but it's full length mirror, okay. You could also use it as a vanity style, so really hard to show you, but basically you fold it. Or my favorite for the camping music festivals is the triangle method where you can just have it sitting on your lap and you have a nice huge mirror to be doing all your makeup and then you can hang it to see your entire look just trust me, get one of these. It is so worth it. And also if you do order it, please let them know that just from living by the F word sent you because I swear I live by this product and I want them to know that I'm sending you there. Up next, I have a waterproof bag or sometimes it's called a dry bag. You can get this at any camping store, REI, even on Amazon. They range in price from $10 to $40, depending on the size. I have a little small one, as you can see, it's very compact when it is closed, but basically it's used to store valuable items. A lot of people use it if you're a camper or something like that, that does water sports, kayaking, water rafting, that's what they're primarily used for. And what you do is you just put all your items in 
you seal it up like this and it completely keeps everything dry. So in the past, the reason why I invested in this was because the first Tomorrowland I ever went to in 2013, there was a monsoon and my passport was destroyed from being just in my fanny pack. So I invested in one of these. I will keep anything that's important. I used to be a smoker. I used to keep cigarettes in here if it would rain, anything like that, GoPro, stuff like that. And I also just clip it on to whatever my hydration pack I'm bringing. So it's really useful. If you don't want to use a Ziploc bag, I suggest investing in one of these absolute must for me. Up next, I have D-rings. This is what a D-ring is if you're unfamiliar. And this is actually kind of a smaller example. I usually like to use larger ones that even screw on for extra security, but these are just awesome for clipping things onto things. So for instance, I have a solar charger here. If I clip on my D-ring and clip it onto the back of my backpack, it can solar charge during the day while it's sunlight out at the festival. I also clip fans. I also clip basically anything that I need clipped on. I, I find them very useful. So if I need to clip anything to the outside of my bag, I really think that these are useful. My portable water bottle, stuff like that. Definitely get some D-rings. Okay. Up next, I have solar lights. They're in the box. I will take them out for you. I have tons of these. I use them for Burning Man. I use them for Electric Forest. I use them for any camping music festival. The benefit is this solar panel basically will charge during the day. You could even see all the playa dust on this from Burning Man. But basically, yeah, it will charge during the day in the sunlight and then it automatically turns on once this senses darkness, they automatically turn on. So if you have them around your tent, around your campsite, they will automatically turn on when you head back to the campgrounds at night. So it's just super useful. You don't have to worry about plugging in anything, doing anything like that. Just use the sun, use the earth, use the universe. You know what I'm saying guys? And have some awesome, beautiful lights. These particular ones I love. They look like kind of like little dew drops. Um, and yeah, I love using these on my bike at Burning Man. I love using these at Electric Forest around my campsite. They're just beautiful and they come in all different shapes, hearts, stars, different things. You could find them on Amazon or any type of camping store, I'm pretty sure, but they're relatively cheap and really useful. Up next, I have reusable utensils, plate, and drink cup. Many people know to use a reusable cup. I know a lot of people probably know that, especially if you're a festival pro. I actually didn't even bring one in here to show you. Basically, it's like a canister and you should use that around your campsite. Stop bringing solo cups. Stop bringing extra waste to festivals. Let's start to be environmentally conscious. You know what I'm saying, guys? Just start bringing you reusable things. You could also bring reusable plates and stuff. So this is a very small size, as you can tell. It unsnaps. It has a foon, a foon, a foon. What the f is a foon? It has a spoon, spork, okay? It clips in and then basically it just pops out like this. So when you want food, pops out and then you just basically load up your food and then you could rinse it out with water at a water refill station and then you can fold it back up and take it with you. It's super useful at events like Burning Man, Envision Festival, or any type of festival that really is trying to practice sustainability. So make sure you have reusable items and just start practicing bringing these things to everyday events, even if they're not a transformational festival. Bring them to Electric Forest, I do. And then you also have like a container to save food in. So sometimes if I get a really large burrito or something that I can't finish, I will just keep it in this and I'll keep it in the shade in my tent. Some people might be like, whoa, that is like so fucking grimy, but it works. Like, if, especially if it's cold at night, especially if the food is staying chilled at night, you know what I'm saying? So definitely start using reusable containers. Up next, I have this guy. Can you see it? It's a blow up chair, okay? This thing is a game changer when your legs feel like jello, when you've been walking, dancing, shuffling all day, all night, and then you come back from after hours and this thing is sitting at your campsite. You just plop right into it. It's squishy, it's soft, it feels so good. 
this thing was $20. I have brought it everywhere with me. I, I've brought it to Burning Man even. Uh, only suggestion is if you bring it to places like Coachella, Burning Man, or anywhere where there's high winds, make sure it's in an enclosed area. So lots of times I will bring it inside my tent if I'm leaving to go into the festival grounds, and then I'll take it back out when I get back to my campsite or make sure that someone is always watching it and stuff like that. But yeah, this is such a game changer and it's so easy to bring because I just pack it in my festival camping box and I roll out with it. And then I just use my air mattress blow up thing to blow it up and super easy. Next up, I have bungee cords. So some people might be like, really, you think that's like super essential and underrated? Yes, they are underrated, especially if you are going to a walk-in camping festival. So many people, especially in the States, I think are so blessed with having car camping festivals like Electric Forest and Coachella, Bonnaroo, all these festivals for the most part are car camping, which is like a luxury compared to some European festivals or festivals that are international that are walk-in camping only where you have to literally lug all your shit into the festival grounds. And bungee cords are super useful because you can strap things onto a pullable wagon. You could strap things onto your backpack that you're carrying. You can just kind of stretch things around and add and add and add. And on top of it, I use these at car camping festivals to hold tapestries along the side of the pop-up canopies. I also use them to, if you have flags or something like that, you can strap a flagpole and have those strapped to your campsite, extremely useful. And the last up, which this might be frowned upon for some people, but I think that it's absolutely necessary and it's kind of a combo of two items, so I'm kind of cheating here, but basically portable ashtrays and the one and only lighter leash, okay? This thing is a game changer. I don't even smoke anymore. So I just want to put that out there. I used to be a huge smoker. I haven't smoked in over a year. Thank you so much to my friend, Mike. If you're watching this, he helped me quit. I have not smoked in over a year, which is awesome. However, I realize that there are still smokers out there. And personally, I would like to educate the smokers to try to be more mindful. Please don't put your cigarette butts on the ground. You can easily buy an Altoids tin. You can empty it. And it could be your portable ashtray. And then when you pass a garbage, you just kind of dump it all your cigarette butts in the garbage and you're not littering the ground at the festival. Something I highly suggest is if you could get something like this, this is a game changer when it comes to portable ashtrays. I got this at Desert Hearts. I love it. In fact, make sure you're following me on Instagram and at this channel, because I think I'm going to get my own made to give to people because they're so useful. It basically is a pocket ashtray and you don't need to stomp the butt out on the ground at all. You just put it right in there and it suffocates it and you just be on your merry way. It's so legit. Any of my smokers out here, even if you're not a smoker, seriously, even if you're a non-smoker, I recommend getting a lighter leash because I guarantee you so many people will ask you, hey, do you have a light? And then they walk away with it or something like that. I clip this onto my fanny pack. It is just so useful. I have been using this product for as long as I could remember. And so I highly recommend doing that. Please start doing this, especially if you are a smoker, please start bringing a portable ashtray and also just be prepared to have a lighter leash. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that this was useful. I hope these 10 items were something maybe that you didn't know about that you will find very useful at your next camping music festival. Please make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends if you found it useful, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.